In this problem, we're told a child is pulling a wagon down the sidewalk. For 9 meters, the wagon stays on the sidewalk and the child pulls with a horizontal force of 22 newtons. Then one wheel of the wagon goes off the grass, so the child has to pull it with a force of 38 newtons at an angle of 12 degrees to the side for the next 5 meters. Finally, the wagon gets back on the sidewalk, so the child makes the rest of the trip, which is 13 meters, with a force of 22 newtons. How much total work did the child do on the wagon? So there's going to be three different scenarios here, right? So they tell us the first one is they go 9 meters on the sidewalk, 22 newtons, right? And then the next one, it falls off the grass, 38 newtons at 12 degrees, and then uh, that one's going to be for 5 meters, right? And then makes the rest of the trip 13 meters 22 newtons so there's gonna be three different things right so what we're trying to do is find the total work done so imagine it's like a path right so three different things of the path there this is gonna be to scale right but just imagine there's three different parts of the uh, path so this is gonna be the work for the first path the work for the second and the work for the third right so it's gonna take different amount of works for each of the different paths right because we're doing different forces uh, or we're doing it at an angle, right? So they're going to be different, but uh, keep in mind what we're trying to do is find the total work. So we need to add up the works of each of these sections, right? So the total work is just going to be equal to W sub 1 plus W sub 2 plus W sub 3. So this is the equation we're going to use to solve. So we just need to find the individual work for each of these paths. So let's start with W sub 1. Let's do that right here. So W sub 1. So for the first part, they're going to go 9 meters, uh, stay on the sidewalk, so it's going to be straight. And they're going to pull it with a force of 22 newtons. So before we do this, actually, let's I'm going to remind you what the formula for work is. So work equals force times distance times the cosine of theta, where theta is the angle between the direction it goes and where the force is being pulled, right? So in this case, it's going to be a pulling motion. It could be a push or whatever, but let's just focus on this one because it's pull. So for the first part, we know they're going to be pulling it with a force of 22 newtons. So the force is going to be 22. What's going to be the distance? So we know they go for 9 meters, right? So the distance is 9 meters times the cosine. And so this is the angle between the direction it goes and the force, right? And so they're being applied in the same direction, right? Because he's pulling it and it's traveling in that direction. So it's just going to be 0. Uh, you should notice that the cosine of 0 is just 1. So it's just going to be 22 times 9 times 1. So 22 times 9 essentially is what it is. If you go ahead and do that, you're going to get that it equals... 198 and then it's measured in joules so 198 J let's move on to the second one so for the second one one wheel of the wagon goes off the grass so you have to pull with a force of 38 newtons so it's gonna be 38 newtons uh, and they're gonna do this for five meters right so the distance is gonna be five times the cosine and what's gonna be our angle so they tell us it's at an angle of 12 degrees right so it's gonna be 12 degrees so 38 times 5 times the cosine of 12, you're going to get 185.84. I'm just going to round that to 186. So 186 joules. That's going to be for the second part. Now let's do the third part right here. So W sub 3. So for this part, they get on back on the sidewalk, makes the rest of the trip, which is 13 meters with a force of 22 newtons. So the force, 22 newtons, times the distance, which is 13, times the cosine. And so keep in mind, they're on the sidewalk again, so it's just going to be straight. So it's just zero. So really, it's just equal to 22 times 13. So if you go ahead and do that, you're going to get, it's going to be equal to 286 joules. So that's going to be the work for the individual parts. We're trying to find the total now, so we just add them up. So W sub T is going to be equal to the first part, which is 198, plus the second part, which is 186, right? Plus the third part, which is going to be 286. So if we add these up, the total work, you're going to get 670 joules. So this right here is the total. So what we had to do was just add up each of the parts, right? So we added up all of them, 670 joules. So that's going to be your answer. And hopefully you found this video useful.